Hey guys, I wanted to share some more good news with you from TFL Truck and actually TFL Studios, all of our channels. We're getting a brand new trailer for testing in the upcoming 2021 season for both SUVs like the new Ford Bronco, of course Chevrolet Tahoe, Suburban, etc, etc. And we're going to be using this trailer for a lot of that work. Uh, but it's a very, very cool Cimarron four-horse trailer and it's one of the largest ones they built it's a north star and count one two three four four windows uh one for each horse but unfortunately there are no horses in the back this is gonna be our testing trailer and i just want to walk you around it and show you what's happening yes i do have our trail boss project truck next to it but this is all about the trailer today this is basically a 21 foot long trailer. So if you measure it from kind of the very back to where the V-nose ends, that's approximately 21 feet. And I'll actually show you how to look at the VIN number of the trailer and for, for the hidden information about it. And then of course we have a, a tongue right here which is about three and a half feet, maybe almost four feet in the front. So overall it's about 24 and a half to 25 feet of trailer and we just got it uh, Mr. Truck will also be using this trailer for some of his work and some of his testing but it's basically um, it's just almost seven feet wide so it's not a full eight footer but it's good for smaller SUVs such as the Ford Bronco the, the big Ford Bronco that's coming up because you'll be able to see around this trailer and you'll be able to see around these fenders right here and then it's got some heavy-duty axles so as you can see eight bolts on both of these uh, both of these axles are 6,000 pounds a piece so total capacity or total weight rating of this trailer is about 12,000 pounds as it sits um, it's all aluminum a very high-end trailer it's at around 4,100 pounds, maybe close to 4,200 pounds, according to the spec sheet that I have. So by itself, uh, it's got a little bit of heft to it, and it's over 7 feet tall. So it has quite a lot of wind resistance. So if you're towing a camping trailer, a horse trailer, uh, maybe a race car trailer that's of a similar size, you'll be able to compare our information and our testing uh, with this trailer. So up here, as you can see, very, very big frame on this trailer. Very solid because it does have to haul a lot of weight, like I said. Potentially close to 8,000 pounds of total payload. Of course, you have a 7-pin connector right here. It tucks away nicely. You have this um, zip line for the breakaway cable, which is actually uh, really useful because it's not a steel cable that just hangs down all the way you can put it away nicely and not have it be in your way two and five sixteenths coupler heavy duty coupler and in order to be safe with some heavy weights we will be installing a weight distribution hitch on this and i'll show that to you at another time of course we have a chains with hooks so everything is nice and neat and of course this manual jack up here as well so let me show you how some of these doors open on this side really really quick and you guys can see that and then I'll kind of tell you a little bit more about it so let's see how that works so of course you have all these doors in all these windows like I said you have access here to the front If you're into horses, and I'm not into horses very much, uh, you'll you'll see that this is a high quality construction with you know solid latches, solid doors, sliding windows, plenty of mo uh, air for the 
horses that are in this trailer. Now, let's look at the back really quick. You go this way. Guys, if a dummy like me can know how to use this trailer, then anybody can use it. So, really heavy duty rubberized floor, very uh, nice. Up here, the first door, Mr. Truck tells me, is for studs. So it's got a big stud door, so, so if a horse is kicking, you know, they don't have to kick the other horses. Um, and then of course, there is other separations right here, as you can see. So you can actually separate all of your horses in the back. You have vents on top, plenty of air. Right now they're closed. And LED lights throughout. So when you're drawing some power from the truck, when you're plugged in, um, you can run all of your lights, of course. And of course, sliding windows here on the uh, passenger side as well and these are the latches these are the latches that are for these stall doors on for the horses and of course there is also a way to secure them with a couple of latches on this side um, and this we specifically ask for it to be kind of an open floor this is like i said just under seven feet wide and about 13 feet up to this corner maybe a little bit more in the center of course longer and then there it's longer it's because it's a diagonal there's a tack room in the front so let me quickly show you the tack room and how that works So here's the front tack room. It has the saddle rack. One, two, three, four. Obviously it's all comes together. There's some blanket racks and hooks on this side and side. Everything is carpeted. Everything is pretty high, high quality. There's a spare tire, which is the same size as the tires that are on the trailer. So it's very easy. And you can kind of see the aluminum construction. The welds are very, very nice and neat. Um, it looks kind of rugged in here because, you know, usually this would be kind of a working trailer for, for the horses. I mean, it is very nice, but it has to be a utilitarian at some, in some way as well. So this is kind of how this looks. With kind of all the doors locked and open. So like I said, we'll be doing a lot of videos with this trailer in the coming year as well. Uh, the big news, of course, in the full-size SUV market is the 2021 GM full-sizers. Tahoe Suburban, Yukon, Yukon XL, Cadillac Escalade. And, of course, there are also mid-size SUVs that are coming up. All of them should be able to tow, especially uh, some body and frame SUVs like the new Ford Bronco that's based on the Ranger. And, of course, the Jeep Wrangler that it competes against um, Maybe the Jeep for the Jeep Wrangler this trailer is too big So I keep wondering about more specs on the Upcoming Bronco will it be able to tow 5,000? Well, if yes, we could try it with this trailer and a variety of other trailers because we also have a Iron Bull of course, uh, which is a flat deck where we can haul some maybe uh, razors and side-by-sides with 
Well guys, thank you for joining me for this walk around. And as the last thing, I promised you to see kind of a VIN decoding. So if you see right here, it says B on the VIN number, that's bumper pole, conventional. And then 21 is the next number. And that next number is the approximate length. And here you can see also total weight, 12,000 pounds. The trailer weight is not here, but you could see that the axles are 6,000 a piece. Of course, this is pretty heavy duty stuff, so the tires are at 80 PSI. And it's brand new, it was just born, what, just a few weeks ago. So we're very excited. Big thanks to Cimarron and TransWest for uh, allowing us to do this. Uh, without them, obviously, we wouldn't have something this pretty, something this useful. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for news views and real world towing, SUV and truck reviews. Thank you guys.